Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the February 2nd Daily Inspirational Message, a condensed version. It's two paragraphs long. Then I'll center myself, say a little prayer, and then make a couple comments on the message, and I trust it will assist both of us on our journeys. Okay, here we go. The title, Words Show Us the State of Our Hearts and Minds. Paragraph 1. People who are fully healed do not use hurtful words. Only those who are themselves hurt, hurt others. Words, as verbal manifestations of thought, show us where we are within our hearts and minds. Today, let us pay special attention to the words we use and allow them to show us our internal condition. Let us pay close attention to how our words are always guiding us to a world of pain or a place of peace. Today, let us allow our words to lead us in leaving the world of anger, sorrow, resentment, and regret behind, and beholding one where the peace and joy of God resides. The more conscious we become of our words, the more responsibility we take for them. Thus, the more control we will have in our growth, healing, and awakening process. Paragraph 2. Today, let our goal be to align our words with our all-loving source. Through our words, today we represent God, love on earth. When our words are aligned with love, or any of its expressions such as kindness, peace, joy, and hope, let us feel fulfilled knowing that we are doing what we, what we were created to do. If our words are out of alignment with love, let us not judge ourselves or others. Instead, let us use such opportunities as signs that show us where along our path we need to correct our thinking. Having used even our unaligned words to assist us on our journey, let us now offer them our gratitude for their service to us. They have helped us recall who we no longer desire to be. This, in turn, has given us a better understanding of who we truly are and desire to share with others. Right. Yesterday we talked about uh, thoughts and how important they are. Today we're talking about words. Words show us the state of our hearts and minds. All right. Where are you within your heart and mind? Sometimes that may seem not easy to figure out. But words are a very useful tool in helping you figure that out. Are your words loving in nature? Are they compassionate? Or are they condemning and pain-filled? There's nothing that you can say to another person or even say to yourself that does not first reside within you. And so whatever it is that you're saying lives in here. And if it's living in here, it's either healing you or hurting you. Making your life a more, more loving experience or a more painful path. But the beauty of it is that we have free will. Thank God. <laughs> and so in any moment we can correct our thinking and leave the hellish mindset and return to the heavenly mindset. Leave a place of pain and fear and return to being one with our source and thus fulfilling our function as the light of the world that we came here to be. And so let us practice today. Uh, let us go into every interaction remembering our goal for today, which is, okay, I want to know what my heart and mind are. Okay, let me first... Uh, Remember, 
that I'm here as love's creation to share love with others. And let me try to only support that as true by using loving words. And uh, when we become slightly unconscious and, and, and just uh, start offering hurtful words, let us not punish ourselves for that because we're human. That's, that happens <laughs> a lot, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> and they may, they may maybe something as unkind words or sarcastic words or, you know, as little as that or as bad as hateful words, shameful words. But um, whatever it is that you're offering, that's where you're at. That's what you're supporting as true within you. You're either making your light brighter or you're dimming your own light. And in every moment, in every interaction, we have that choice. We have the choice to use loving words. And so today, is when you're interacting with somebody, just listen and pay attention to the words you're using. And even after the interaction, go back and say, okay, how did I interact with this person? Were my, thought, were my words uh, loving? Were they compassionate? Were they helpful? Were they healing? Or were they hurtful? Were they uh, uh, unkind, not generous, revengeful, hateful, shameful? Were they sarcastic in nature? And then those words are gonna show you what, res what resides within you and what you're supporting within you. And so just practice, okay, don't uh, punish yourself when you're using words that are less than loving in nature. Again, simply practice catching yourself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm being uh, sarcastic right now. That's not what I'm here for. I'm being unkind. I'm saying something unkind about others to, to these individuals. No, no, I'm not here for that. That's not my function here. That's not what I want living within me. I don't want that poison. I don't want to poison myself with my own words. I want to heal. I want to fulfill my function as the light of the world. Okay. Okay, I was, uh, I was saying something about that person or being sarcastic. Let me, let me just switch right now and say something kind about the person we're talking about or say something hopeful about the person we're talking about, or say something hopeful about the person I'm talking with. And so in every moment, you have the ability to shift your consciousness from the darkness to the light. And so don't judge yourself as not spiritual enough or not, uh, not intelligent enough or not whatever enough when you're in the darkness, when you're using unkind words, when you're poisoning yourself and others. Simply catch yourself, practice catching yourself every time. And the more you practice your, yourself ca catching yourself, the less time you will spend in that darkness with the, those words living within you. Because now you will correct them and you practice correcting them. And the more you correct them, the more you will see, yeah, yeah, I don't want that stuff living within me. I want love. I want love's expressions living within me so they can brighten my light so that I can fulfill my function as the light of the world that God created me to be. I think that's pretty clear. And uh, another thing that, as, as I always try to do is, we always end with, uh, there's a sacred circle tool of things, right? And the sacred circle always ends in gratitude. And so where can we be grateful here? Let us be grateful to our unkind words and to those individuals who participated in the experience because they're helping us, they're, help, they're helping us, yeah, us, see what resides within us. Oh, thank you. Oh, I wasn't saying the, the nicest words. I wasn't using the nicest words there. You can say that in your mind. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you for this experience because this experience is showing me, man, that's not good. I can do better. Thank you. Thank you for that. And the more you get to practice, the more you get to see where you truly belong, where you truly, what you truly want to feel, and 
what you want to represent, who you want to represent. Not the darkness, the light. Not fear, love. Not the ego, God. Because that's your father, our father. And uh, love is what we were created all to be and do and share in our own unique ways, in our own perfectly unique ways. You are perfect just like God created you. Today, allow your words to remind you of that. Thank you so much for your time. I love you very much. Uh, if you can like, share, or comment, I would appreciate that. If you made it this far, extra, extra, <laughs> extra love for you. <laughs> and uh, God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Thank you and peace.